Now we move to the back side of the worksheet. And the very top few questions are asking us about what happens to the magnetic field at the center of a current carrying loop of wire. Now this is the other special case that was discussed in the pre-lecture videos. So if you haven't watched those pre-lecture videos, you want to go ahead and take a look at what it says. Now to summarize, we have a special case equation. And you'll want to go back and look at it to make sure you understand fully what all of this information means. Now the very first question asks us if I change the current, increase the current, decrease the current, or switch the direction of the current. So if I increase the current, will the magnetic field be stronger or weaker? If I decrease the current, will the magnetic field be stronger or weaker? Now I'll give you a hint, this equation does not tell you anything about the direction of the current in terms of the magnetic field that it creates. So you can pretty much eliminate this bottom one. So think a little bit about if I increase the current, will the magnetic field get stronger? If yes, then that's the correct answer. If I decrease the current, will the magnetic field get stronger? If yes, then it would be that answer. Now our second one here talks about the radius of the loop. Well, that's our capital R here. So again, we see that the radius is in the equation, so it will affect the magnetic field strength. So now you have to think about, with the R being on the bottom of the equation, does that mean that increasing the radius increases the magnetic field? Or does it decrease the magnetic field? If you decrease the radius, will that increase the magnetic field or decrease the, the magnetic field? So think a little bit about that in terms of what is directly proportional and what's inversely proportional to help figure out your answers on these first two parts. You can send me questions if you have any.